A new era beginning today in the future of space. For the very first time, an all-private mission to the International Space Station is underway. Houston-based Axiom Space successfully launched from Kennedy Space Center this morning. KPRC2 space reporter Roseanne Aragon is live this evening near Axiom's headquarters at the Houston Spaceport. Roseanne, today was a huge milestone for space travel. That's right, this Houston company made history. I want to show you this. We are here at the Houston Spaceport where Axiom is expected to build their main headquarters. You can see other companies have broken ground as well. This mission, though, is a first of many as commercial activity in space takes off. Axiom Space, a Houston company behind this historic milestone mission. The SpaceX Crew Dragon atop a Falcon 9 rocket at the Cape, ready to launch the first ever all private crew mission to the International Space Station, Axiom Mission 1. Four private astronauts, pilot Larry Connor, impact investor Aton Stibbett, and Canadian entrepreneur Mark Pathy, at the helm, Axiom employee and commander, Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut. Friday at 1017 Houston time. Go Falcon, go Dragon, Godspeed, Axiom 1. The Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon Endeavor made their way miles above Earth, each heart pumping checkpoint. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Inside the Dragon trunk, which as you can see has just separated from the second stage. With crews on the ground at Axiom headquarters, along with SpaceX and NASA's Johnson Space Center mission controls, beaming with pride. On behalf of the Falcon 9 team, Thanks, welcome to space. Here. Thanks for flying Falcon 9. Godspeed endeavor. Enjoy the rest of your flight. Amazing views helping to shape the future of commercial spaceflight. What helps us uh, build our mission control that you're sitting in and really understand how we're going to operate those sort of systems. It helps us understand how we're going to train our crews and then prepare for flight. And an ISS-bound commander telling Earth. That was a hell of a ride and we'll be looking forward to the next 10 days. It will be a 20-hour journey to the ISS, and once they get there, they will put their training to the test. Guys? Hey, Ro, as we mentioned, this is a historic mission, and we also understand that the capsule the astronauts flew in also made history. Tell us about that. That's right. You've actually seen that capsule before, and I've seen it in person. It's the Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. That was the same capsule that Bob, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley, they flew to certify that this system, the Crew Dragon system, is safe for flyers like these commercial astronauts. So it's pretty exciting. And yeah, we've seen that. It's flown several times. It also flew on Crew 2 as well. Well, you talk about exciting and big. This is really big today. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.